There's something about Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze that's just a little off. Maybe it's the way Donkey Kong doesn't quite land with the firm-footedness you'd expect from a Nintendo platforming mascot. Maybe it's because, despite introducing the likes of Dixie Kong and Cranky Kong as playable characters with new abilities, its levels see little in the way of new challenges or designs to accommodate them. Or maybe, just maybe, it's because, despite some fun moments, this is one of the least exciting platformers I've played in some time. Take the visuals for example. Yes, they're nice enough, but they don't come anywhere close to approaching the imagination of the likes of, say, Super Mario 3D World or Rayman Legends. It's all just a bit bland, and while you could argue the visual style is true to the series, I think even traditionalists wouldn't mind something with a little more pizzazz behind it. The same goes for the levels themselves. Again, they're not bad, but they stick so steadfastly to platforming 101, it's very hard to get excited about them. The standards are all there, the leafy green starting levels, the swimming levels, and the harder fire levels. But there simply isn't enough variety in the challenges they present. You could spend hours leaping around collecting coins and bananas, and you might even have a little fun with it but it doesn't take long before the game ends up repeating itself and you're trying to make your way over the same collection of moving platforms, sprung platforms and baddies to bash on the head. It's all a bit stop and start too, making it difficult to pick up the sort of smooth, free-flowing rhythm that makes the best 2D platformers such a blast. The addition of Dixie Kong with her ability to make Donkey Kong float and jump a little higher, Cranky Kongs to give Donkey Kong a bigger bounce, and the return of Diddy Kong's jetpack are nice, but the mundane level design fails to make much of their new powers and offer up a different challenge. The vehicle sections fare better. Whether it's riding on the back of Rambi the Rhino or zipping through the air on the back of a rocket-powered barrel, these sections are fast-paced and challenging too. Zipping through the air trying to keep the barrel afloat long enough to dodge obstacles and collect bananas is a great bit of Twitch gaming, as are later sections where you're guiding a speeding minecart and perfectly timing your jumps to avoid a break in the track. If that all sounds a tad familiar, then yes, Tropical Freeze borrows many ideas from its predecessor Donkey Kong Country Returns. Unfortunately, they just aren't as well executed here, lacking the clever level design that made its predecessor such a great game. Tropical Freeze's boss battles do mix things up a bit, thanks to some interesting looking characters and a wide range of patterns to learn. They are extremely challenging in places though. I had a pretty tough time beating many of them and they felt a little unfair at times, particularly as they're in multiple sections and dying on a later one sends you straight back to the beginning again. Practice the patterns though and you'll make it through alive. Just make sure you've got plenty of extra lives stocked up. If the regular levels were as inventive as the boss battles, then Tropical Freeze would be a surefire hit, or at the very least, a game that demands more of your attention. As it stands, this is a fun but thoroughly uninspired entry to the Donkey Kong series.